Welcome back. I want to talk today about giving you some indications of how to use the Markdown system. The Markdown system is a really simple but powerful approach to allow you to do reproducible analysis. To have a single file which will go ahead and control all your analyses, bring in all your graphs, reports, figures, tables, and the like. And is, I think, one of the most important things that we'll be, be talking about because it allows you to do stuff in a way that other people can reproduce or you can come back to in various ways. To get started, we've logged into our studio. I am under the File menu where I want a new file. And I now click on R Markdown. The R Markdown interface um, is relatively recently added to R Studio. Uh, but it provides a very powerful and simple approach. There are some different options that we're going to be seeing here. The one that I want to start with right now is this uh, from template. There are a couple of templates that are available to us by default. The one I want to start with is this mosaic fancy template. This is intended to be a demo of some of the kinds of things that Markdown can do. So if I now click uh, select that and click OK, um, my window on the left hand side is now split into two parts. I have my um, source window which has a little bit of what looks like some gobbledygook. I have my console down here um, and if I go ahead now and just scroll down a little bit we can see there are these startup uh, information that we'll never really have to touch um, but then we can start getting some things that seem a little bit more readable. So for example a header in Markdown is essentially a couple of pound signs followed by some text. If we want to bold something, we just go ahead and put it in bold by putting asterisks on both sides, italics in one. It's a lot of things in this first, um, first demo just to kind of give you an overall sense. It allows you to have mathematics formatted using LaTeX. We can go ahead and, and include a plot. The way that our commands are included in Markdown is that they're in these code blocks, which has the back quotes, three back quotes in this braces and then R. And then here is a command that says let's plot the number of births by the day of year on the births data set. Now um, I have a different, I have a series of choices of what format to use for my uh, markdown. Uh, there's HTML as the default but there's also uh, PDF um, and there's also uh, Word. Let me go ahead and change this to PDF as just an option. When I do that it will go ahead and create this now, this has actually worked just fine for me, but you may find that it, there was a pop-up blocker that when you tried to replicate this same example, there was a little uh, uh, information here that said that pop-ups were being blocked. So go ahead and select that, allow pop-ups to allow this to create. It should be possible then to kind of repeat it from there. Coming back to this PDF, we actually have this uh, output, the same types of commands that were uh, provided earlier are, are now formatted nicely. We have a nice list here. We have some mathematics with some betas. Let me make this a little bit bigger. The graphics have been in inserted. We see the command that led to this graph and we see the the interesting pattern of, of, of births over over year. There are other commands we can be using. Again, Markdown is just a very straightforward way to be able to kind of run through commands create a very nice formatted output and later on we could be changing it in various ways without just changing the commands not having to cut and paste. 